Welcome back to Surviving the Storm. It is time for the spring severe weather outlook and really the spring forecast. We're not just looking at severe weather. Over the winter, La Nina was a major player in our forecast. Of course, it was supposed to be dry and warm here in, in East Texas and Tyler, and it was for the most part, but you remember the middle part of February, and we had a pretty rainy end to December. So we take La Nina, but we use something else, the long range cycling theory. And we look at storms that start to develop back during the autumn, October and November, and then they begin to cycle. And when they repeat at least twice, like they have this year, that suggests there is a higher than 80% chance that these storms will return. For instance, we had a storm in late January, another storm showing up for the middle part of March. Those setups should be similar in terms of rainfall and perhaps even severe weather. So I'm looking at the middle part of the month for a chance for a severe weather setup and toward the 18th, right just after St. Patrick's Day, another chance for a severe weather setup and toward the end of the month. The severe weather season starts to ramp up a little bit in April around the 4th and 5th, perhaps some strong storms, at least some heavy rain, and it won't be an Arctic outbreak. But if we're looking for a late season freeze, it'll happen on the 6th or the 7th. Tax day could be a stormy day, followed by another storm setting up for the 18th and the end of the month looks a bit unsettled. And May, severe weather season may really get going here with at least one, two, three, four, five signature storms coming through the weather pattern and giving us a chance for severe weather. So here is the spring severe weather outlook and your spring weather forecast. Above average rainfall, above average temperatures, and we could see up to 12 severe weather setups. Hey, to stay on top of the weather any time of the day, here's what we suggest, downloading our CBS 19 app. And that'll do it for Surviving the Storm. We thank you for watching. And don't forget, you can get your next forecast on CBS 19 News at 10.